Andres Tulsa has come back from a Yugo down to pin uh, Okarashvili, the Georgian heavyweight. So Okarashvili having gone out now, Zazoliani having gone out first round, the only person left in for Georgia. And Georgia, Georgia's only hope for a medal today is Valam Lipitiliani. Now Lipitiliani, Lipitiliani's still got his semi-final match to go. And in the event that he lost that, and then he lost the bronze medal match, it would mean that Georgia would only end up with one bronze medal. And that would be a real shock for them, especially here in Tbilisi, to hold a tournament and come away with a bronze medal is almost a single bronze medal in Tbilisi is almost unheard of for Georgia now we are talking about a very very high level of competition here because normally it's the um, World Cup perhaps not quite the same level although Japan and Korea and Brazil and various other countries Cuba Korea yeah mentioned Korea they would lift the level um, but it would be a bit surprising if the Georgians only end up with a bronze. They really need Lipitiliani to win the event to give them something to write home about or write up in the, in the home press. Pershing, good turnover, just misses out on getting the leg of Gatami there but just missed out tight grip from Mamadov setting Pershing up for some kind of Uranagi or some such technique. It's that Sumi Geish attempt that uh, Pershing is, is very fond of and turning his, uh, his opponent over and then into the that's a good effort puts him on his backside Ooh, and they were generous there Hank Plugger, I think the uh, referee was right. He just sat him on his backside. Nice effort, but no part of his back or legs. His side touched the mat. He just sat him on his backside, and for me, that wasn't enough. That wasn't quite enough. Anyway, Pershing down by Yuko. Mamadov still a minute plus to work away. Pershing still trying. Oh, and a second you come in. And unfortunately, Hank's got that one wrong. Because that, that wasn't a Yuko. And he gave it. And both corner judges said no. That, that really is unfortunate when that happens. First time round, he didn't give it. They both did. This time round, he gave it. They both said no. There's teamwork for you. And 
standing next to right next to us is the son of the president of the Georgian Federation not judo federation but uh, back underway Pershing of Russia Mamadov Azerbaijan 20 seconds left Pershing has really got to push this he won't want to be missing out on the medals into the last 15 now got to be something big Pershing chasing Mamadov there'll be another three minutes and if Pershing takes this which I suspect he will now Mamadov is going to kick himself and if he doesn't the coach will Koichi attack leg grab attempt Oh, Pershing is, could be in Okosakomi here. Needs to wrap the leg up tight, which he does. Close. Russian um, president of the Russian Judo Federation is not here, but the president of the European Judo Union is from Russia, and he's standing next to me watching on. Quick shake of the head there when Pershing almost got caught in the Okosakomi. Leg grab. This is an unattractive position from both of the fighters here. It's not what we want to see. Referee stands them up. Bear hug. And again, that um, Sumi Gage attempt. But that was just poor. I think he's going to get um, called for a false attack there wasn't really a false attack and that's what they thought I don't, Pink's not having a good day today there's another one where he's given a decision and both of them have said no anyway so no score on the board here comes Pershing again Kataguruma attack Mamadov able to block it and turn away Pershing blowing heavily now this is a close one still don't think it will go to um, golden score so, uh, sorry until the end of the golden score I think one of these is going to finish it but which one I don't know both players attempting the Kataguruma from time to time and then Pershing just throwing in the um, Sumi Geish once in a while. Of course, they both um, have both been leg grabbing as well. That's the Sumi Geish, and Mamadov turns off it, attempts the Osakomi, and there it is. There's no way Pershing's getting out of that. He got out of the Osakomi earlier on, but this time he's well and truly caught, and he hasn't moved. That's the score. We can end it now. No need to worry. Yuko's gone up. Wazari's gone up. And there's the Yippon. It's Elkan Mamadov who will compete for the bronze who will contest the uh, bronze medal Pershing is going to have to settle for seventh place good effort from the former European champion in 2006 in Tampere but not this time not this time So